Hey guys, welcome back to yet another video. Today we're going to be talking about how to easily manage different versions of Proton or Lutris GE or Wine Build for the best gaming experience on Linux. Now, if you are very new to Linux and you don't know what Proton, Wine, and well, Lutris mean, you could go ahead and look up other videos on YouTube. There are plenty of guides out there on how to set up your gaming with Linux. And then you could come back because this will help you to get the best out of your Linux operating system. So without further ado, let's just dive right in. Now, ProtonUp is useful for a number of reasons. If you are a Linux gamer, you would already know that sometimes we need to maintain different builds of Proton or Lutris GE for the best gaming experience because some games tend to work better with some versions than others. So this application allows you to easily manage all of that using the GUI, no terminals involved. The original application is Proton Up based on AU Nassif's application, which is Proton Up, by the way. And that allowed you to easily download the latest version of Proton using that app. But now what this guy, David, has done is he has gone and created an application, a GUI-based application, so that you can easily manage. As you can see in these images, you could do it easily. It's very simple, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to do all of that. So first things first, we're going to click on Get Proton Up. And it'll redirect us over here. We're going to click on this button and it'll prompt us for downloading it. Now, I already have it downloaded, so we're going to go ahead and open this up. Once you have the file downloaded, right click on it, go to properties and click on permissions tab. Below here, you're going to click on this checkbox so that you can allow the file to be executed as a program. Without this, even if you double click the file, it's not going to open it. So we're going to go ahead and open Proton up. As you can see, since I have Lutris downloaded, it's showing me that we can install different versions of Wine for Lutris. Now, before I go ahead and do that, let's just quickly go to Lutris. Under Lutris, as you can see, under Wine, if I click on the Configure tab or Manage Versions, the latest version is 6.16. And that's not new. The latest version is 6.20 of Wine and of Lutris GE. So we're going to close Wine, I mean Lutris. We're going to open up our Proton app. We're going to click on Add Version. From here, we're going to choose Wine GE. I'm choosing Wine GE instead of Lutris GE because Wine GE includes AMD FSR, which is an upscaling tool used to upscale the games to native resolution. So say you have a 1440p monitor, but you have a weaker GPU. This is going to help you because you can run the games at 1080p and get the frame rates, and this will upscale it to 1440p and you could get the resolution too. So you could have your cake and eat it too. It's not going to be as good as native 1440p, but it's good enough for most of us. So now we're going to click the drop down button under version. And we're going to select the latest version, which is 6.20 GE1. We're going to click on install and we're going to give it some time to download and extract the package into our directory, which is mentioned over here. Okay, so now that we've done it, we could also remove the selected version or we could add other versions if we wanted to, but we're not going to do that now. Let's just get out of Proton. And now what we're going to do is we're going to open up Lutris. We're going to click on Wine and we're going to click on the Configure button. And as you can see, we already have Lutris GE 6.20 selected. You didn't even have to enable it by coming into here. So now if you click on save and if you click on any of the games, let's say Ori, if we go to configure, run our options, you can see we already have Lutris selected. Okay, so that was it for today. This app was a quick demonstration on how you could manage your Proton versions for Linux gaming. And if you guys are interested, please check out this GitHub URL, I will provide it down in the description. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.